All right, we're all big manly gamers. We can either fight orcs, we can play football, we can fight the Axis Scourge, or we could deliver the mail. Deliver the mail? Welcome to the Euro Games as given to us by Rio Grande Games. Rio Grande Games is a company here in the United States, and what they've done is they've brought over the best games from Europe and uh, translated them to English and brought them over here for us to enjoy. Um, one of the hallmarks of, uh, of, of Rio Grande Games is that they don't bring over a game that is, is bad. It's, it, there's nothing here that hasn't gotten some kind of critical acclaim. Games like Thurn and Taxi, Elfenland, and Carcassonne are all winners of the pre prestigious Spiel de Jar Award. Uh, that award is, so, is, is, is awarded to a game, a game selected by um, a bunch of critics as the best game on an international level. As a matter of fact, most of the games that you see here are at, were at least nominees for either Spiel de Jar or another award of that caliber. Now, the range of games that they have um, is, is, pretty, is pretty wide. They're all Euro strategy games, but some of them focus on um, kids' ages. Some of them are just for two players, and then you have your regular, your, your regular Die to the Wool Euro strategy game. Okay, so these are some of the, these are some of the, the um, product lines that, that Rio Grande um, has. Um, first is Carcassonne. Carcassonne is a tile laying game um, where you're laying down tiles with different features um, on them, like uh, city pieces and roads and, and fields and, and such. And in, in, an, and, and in doing so, you put your followers down, called meeples, you know, kind of the universal, universal symbol of the Euro game. You put your little followers down to essentially take control of these, these little pieces and score points. Um, next is Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico is a economic engine game in which you're trying to s settle and develop the island of Puerto Rico. So you're, you're trading goods, you're developing plantations, you're, you're buying buildings that help, you, that help you drive this economic engine to try to make, make, make you the most money and thus the most victory points. Third in Taxis is set in uh, the late 1400s uh, in Germany of uh, one of the first uh, postal carriage, one of the first, one of the first formal postal systems. One of the cool things that, that, that the developers of Thurn and Taxi did is, um, along with this handy dandy detailed game example, they also have a very detailed um, basis for the historical basis of the game. And finally we have Power Grid. Power Grid is a again another economic it's another economic game in which you're you are trying to power different cities um, different cities in a given region. Uh, the, the core game has Germany and the United States, and you're building up pow sub power stations, bidding for power plants, and buying resources in order to power cities. Uh, to you know, the, the idea is to try to get the biggest best network possible. Most of the games that we, we, uh, we just talked about, um, from, again, from Rio Grande Games, um, they typify what makes a Euro. Uh, there are three things, really, that, that make a Euro game. First, uh, there's not a lot of direct player violence. Most of, these games, most of these games, the players are competing against each other, but they're not fighting each other directly, like in a game of Axis and Allies or a game of Risk, where you're butting heads against the other, other players. Second, there's not a lot of luck in these games. A lot, a, a lot, of, a lot of games that we have here in, here in America, they're determined by a roll of, the, of a die. Here, you're drawing, you're drawing tiles, you're, um, you're literally analyzing what the other players are doing to, to, in order to de decide what you're going to do. So there, the strategy is, um, the term is, it's perfect information. That means all of the information that you need to play the game is right there in front of you, and there's not a lot left to chance. And finally, and possibly one of the best benefits of all of these games, is uh, the rule sets are very, very elegant, i.e., there are not a lot of rules that make the game. Okay, for example, I've got the manual for Carcassonne here. As you can see, there are four pages here. That's it. That's the entire game. There's four pages, and not to mention, most of it are example pictures. 
So as you can see, um, in comparison to perhaps, uh, again, a game like Axis and Allies or, or a game made here in the States, the, the, the game is very, very, very simple. Now there is one more thing that these things, the, all of these games share, is international appeal. Um, even though our first best seller as of the holiday season of 2008 is this, the second and third players are here on this table. It's Puerto Rico and Carcassonne. So um, don't, be, don't be afraid of its, its foreign roots. These games are great no matter where you're from.